XRP Ripple, Ripple versus the SEC. Where is the case at? Is the ruling imminent? We keep hearing that. According to legal experts, it could come down any time now. Will we see ruling next week, potentially? And what will happen to the price of XRP? And what are some of the latest updates? We're going to dive into all of that in this video, guys. Welcome back to the channel and uh, appreciate you guys as always. So before we dive into the latest update with the case, uh, will we see a ruling here? to end April. Uh, I, you know, it's anybody's guess, right? But I have, you know, come to this kind of realization that I don't want to basically uh, be very, very adamant that this is going to happen or this is not going to happen, right? But experts uh, expect Judge Torres to make a ruling by the end of April. Some of the experts out there, XRP community attorney John Deaton believes that uh, the judge in the case is taking her time uh, to analyze each word before issuing the ruling. So uh, pretty interesting there. Now, let me dive into this article a little bit and break it down for you because there's some interesting things happening here as it relates to XRP. And right now, the SEC is obviously one of the regulatory bodies that are, you know, th that's coming uh, at crypto from a, you know, what's deemed a security or what's not standpoint. So essentially, uh, elsewhere, it has come to the public's attention that the SEC has recently named six crypto assets as securities. I actually went over this in a, another video here on the channel. There's actually way more than six, but some of these big ones uh, are Dash, Algorand, OMG, TKN, NGC, IHT, and a lawsuit against crypto exchange Bittrex, but not against the issuers, according to the SEC release on April 17th. Specifically, the SEC alleges that these six digital assets listed on the crypto trading platform, Bittrex should be considered securities under U.S. law because as an agency claims, investors had, quote, reasonable expectation of profits. Commenting on the development, David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, said on Twitter that this sounds like investment advice to me. Now, the SEC boss, Gary Gensler, still refuses to provide a clear answer to the repeatedly asked question of whether Ethereum is a security or not, including during his recent testimony before the U.S. House of Representatives, Financial Services Committee, as Finbold reported on April 19th. Meanwhile, XRP at press time, changing hands right about 46 cents. We're still there here today, down about 2%, and uh, we're down about 11% across uh, the last week or so. But that is kind of the big news right now. It's ridiculous that this thing is still being dragged on. It's ridiculous that all of these assets, and again, there's way more than six that I just listed here. My other video, check it out here on the channel, um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, it is, you know, my first video out today talking about dozens of cryptos deemed securities. Now, uh, Decentraland is part of that mix. Uh, Terra Luna is part of that mix. The United States has a different viewpoint than South Korea, who just deemed it not a security, by the way. So very interesting things happening right now. Of course, the SEC continues to enforce and, and rule with an iron fist here. And, uh, you know, what happens here in this Ripple case is going to have ripple effects on the entire cryptocurrency industry we've been saying that for you know weeks and months and years now whatever happens here uh, we have to as investors pay close attention and respond and react accordingly but it is ridiculous that this thing continues to be dragged on we don't have a timetable and uh, now other assets getting pulled into the mix algorand one of my favorite assets included on the list so let me know what you guys think about this down below appreciate you guys as always and we will talk to you in the next video take care